Aye, aye. Welcome back to Food Busket. Now, this week, we're at Charing Cross train station at the real food market, and I'm doing an American hot pizza. Be worth a Get a room, you two! What's going on here? Tasty? Very tasty. Oh, I bet it is at £1.50. <laughs> I say £9. He loves me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is American hot, isn't it? That is good. I like that. Boo. Right, now, an American hot. One of those pizza classics. Um, you normally make it with pepperoni. I'm going to make it with chorizo. We're going to take the Spanish sausage, we're going to take the skin off, and then I'm going to cut it nice and thin so it cooks beautifully on the pizza. Now, I'm using buffalo mozzarella. Just going to very roughly cut it up so I can just put it on. And that's ready to go on top of the pizza. OK, now let's do the dough. A little bit of flour, and let's just get that onto the board. Right, so I've got some dough that I made earlier. It's a really simple recipe. And if you want to get it, go to my margarita video. The link's at the end of this video. Right, so drop that down on the board, a bit more flour onto your hands and on top of the pizza. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to spread out the pizza with your hands. Start in the middle and just in a circular motion, start moving it out. Lift it up, move it around, put it back onto fresh flour. When you've doubled it inside, remember that most of the flour is going to be absorbed and it might start sticking to the surface. So just pick it up and move it onto another fresh bit of flour. And then just keep moving it out. And what you want is an even surface. Just feel the pizza, you can feel it, where the thickness is, and if you just do this, it naturally stretches itself. But the beauty about pizza is, it's rustic. It doesn't matter if it's a bit gnarly and a bit low place. I prefer it like that, so don't worry about it being perfect. That's the pizza base done. Now just come and have a look. There's a little hole there, not the end of the world. Just put it together and press it, hold gone. OK, now it's time to put the tomato sauce on. If you want to get this recipe, again, check it out in the margarita video. Now listen, people, this is really important with pizza. Less is more. Don't put whacking loads of toppings on. It's a massive mistake. Put small amounts. It makes all the difference. So, a little bit of tomato sauce. And again, you start in the middle. And then with the bottom of the ladle, spread it out. Now, come and have a look. There's lots of gaps everywhere. It's Sparsely spread on, that's exactly how you want it. Right, get a handful of chorizo, drop it out sparingly, don't put too much on. Now the mozzarella. You don't want loads of cheese everywhere. Right, now this is an American hot, so it needs some heat. Uh, jalapenos is what you would normally use. I've got two different types. I've got some that are pickled, and then I've got some that are dried. So just drop those on. I'm going to put some dried oregano on there. Then I'm going to get some fresh basil. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. OK, right. Moment of truth. Your pizza paddle. Now, I'm using my mate's uh, pizza oven, Uni. It's absolutely fantastic. It's something that you can use at home. Check it out. Take the paddle, lift up your pizza. Now it's time to whack it into the oven. Close. It should take about two to three minutes. But every sort of 45 seconds, you go in and you twist it round because it cooks more at the back and less at the front. Guys, how much do you think that pizza is going to be worth? It's a bit of a crown building up. I reckon because it's a smaller pizza, oh, eight quid? No, 750. Let's take it to the streets and see what people will pay. What the bloody hell's this? Churros. This is tasty. I don't think you're going to like the pizza. Right, so this is Fabio. Come on. No, no, no. So when I first started Food Boy Skin, like two, three, three years ago, Fabio, I used to come down every weekend. You gave me a home, didn't you? I did, I did. Try to. Yeah, well, <laughs> take a slice. It feels good. OK, so what would you pay for a whole American hot pizza? Well, I say that's got to be worth at least eight quid. See, he's a good yeah. man. I don't he's have anything on me though. He's got, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Give me some money, where's the money? Where's the money? <laughs> one nil, let's take it on. Okay, nice one, Fabs. Cross town donuts, best donuts in London. Okay, come on, get a slice. It's good. It's good. Oh, it is American hot, isn't it? It's <laughs> good, I like that. What would you pay for a whole American hot pizza? A whole one? Six pounds. Six pounds. One, one. We need one more. See you later.
It's right. an American hot pizza. You want to try some? Mm. Tasty? Lovely. Very, Very good. Nice. You like? Mm. Now, if you were to buy a whole pizza, what would you pay for a whole American hot pizza? About £1.50 to £2. Bloody disgraceful it is. <laughs> tasty? Very tasty. Oh, but it is at £1.50. Now, I'm what the food busker. I cook on the street. Yeah. People try my food and then they tell me what they think it's worth. Okay. Are you up for trying? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Get a room, you two. What's going on here? What would you pay in English pounds? So, I guess it would be about six pence. I'll say nine pounds. He loves me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boost the points. It's not worth anything. 